The question is, has always been, Mark, why are my shrimp dying right on? Guys, the simple answer is, you're feeding your fucking shrimp too much. Cut it out. Stop putting so much fucking... <laughs> Stop putting so much fucking stuff into your tanks. You can't put so much food into your tanks, guys. If you keep on adding so much crap into the tank, your shrimp are just going to die. Right? Imagine your house in a situation right where your house is just constantly being filled with food. And I'm talking about stuff that's raw and it's packaging right so you're surrounded by cereals and meats and somebody's pouring milk on you and you're just living in this absolute filth right stop filling your effing tanks with so much food it is so easy to understand this right you, the less you put in the healthier it is it's the same with us and i'm probably the worst fucking example of this that <laughs> you shouldn't put so much in guys and and your simple thank you for it. Like, because, because this has been on my brain for years. People asking me the same fucking question over and over and over. And yeah, I've just, I've fucking snapped, guys. <laughs> I've fudging snapped, I should say. Right, so hopefully I'll bleep out all the effing bits in this video. And yeah, let's have a little sit down here and we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, shrimp, let's, let's uh, go over that again because I know you're not fucking idiots. I have to watch what I'm saying now. I know I'm not going to be able to monetize this video just because the amount of swearing that has maybe been edited out of this. I can't tell you for sure if it's going to be the case, but yeah, guys, trust me right when I say this. Let me just turn this around because yeah, you're, you have to take me seriously here. I'm grabbing you by your legs, right? And your arms, your wee skinny arms, holding you by the neck. And I'm saying to you, stop feeding your tank so much, right? Uh, guys, it is also applicable that how much you feed your tank depends on how many shrimp you have in your tank in the first place. Right, so if you have, just say you go to the shop, right, and you go in, you buy your shrimp and you leave, and the guy says shut the effing door on your way, you go okay, mother effer, right, and you go home, drive home your car, get home, you put your shrimp in your tank, you drip acclimate them, whatever, that's if you're smart enough to drip acclimate them, because most of you are stupid mother effers they just think they could just dump everything in. <laughs> right? So put your shrimp in your tank, and then you go, yeah, here, here's the size of the food, right? The food's probably twice the size of the shrimp, let's put it in. And watch the shrimp. Why are they not coming to the food? Or maybe they will come to the food the first day. The second day, you're like, oh, I'm going to save my Mark, or Mark shrimp tank says we should feed our fish and shrimp every day. Here go. Put more in. Shrimp are like, uh, we're kind of struggling here because you're pulling the tank with the amount of crap you're throwing in. So the volume that you feed your tanks, guys, of food depends upon the amount of shrimp that you have in your tank. Right? So this is something that you have to gauge in yourself. This is something you have to gauge yourself for because there's, there will, will be literally a thousand videos of guys like me telling you how to feed your shrimp in your tanks on YouTube and the simple answer is only you will know that by putting the food in and watching the reaction. Only you will know this. Right? I can't tell you how much shrimp your 10 Neocaridina in this specific size of a tank will eat. Right? You've got to learn this stuff yourself. You've got to be a little bit um, vigilant. You've got to like look at your shrimp tanks and decide, right? well, are they lethargic today? Right, do I have maybe a little bit too much mother thing algae building up, right? So it's all these little signs that you're looking for that you want to uh, cut back your feeding. If you're starting to see things like lethargic shrimp or maybe you do have just a wee bit too much algae growing in the tank and you need to cut the feeding back. And guys, you've got to be extreme with this stuff as well, right? Because remember, shrimp's main food is biofilm, right? So when you're adding stuff to the tank, you're basically, add, basically adding like junk food to the tank. Right? And as it breaks down, all its nutrients are released. Um, this helps to form algae and biofilm and stuff. But if you're adding too much food to the tank, you can create too much algae and too much of everything in the tank. And you start producing all the wrong types of um, bad algae and stuff. Um, yeah, feed your tanks less. Right? Shrimp are very adaptable. Remember guys, it's not like us where we're in a house and we could just go to a fridge and eat and eat and eat. Right? Most, and most cases with animals, right, they're used to not eating all the time. Right? So for shrimp, for example, you could probably go a week or two without even putting food in the tank. That's the extremes that you can go to. Right? You could probably go on holiday. 
go away for two or three weeks. Right? As long as you have like leaf litter and stuff in the tank, you have something for them to graze on, like biofilm and whatever else. As long as you have the basics in the tank that they would have right, normally, then you can not feed the tank so much. So you need to forget the stuff, guys, where you're putting food into the tank every day. Right? And remember what I said, it depends mostly on how many shrimp you have in the tank. Right, and the size of the tank and how much biofilm buildup and stuff you have in there. But again, this is something that you have to gauge. It's a little tank like this down here, for example. I might feed this once a week. Right, and it has probably 20 caradina in there. Right, but then I've got a tank like this that has a couple of thousand neo caradina right, that need to be fed almost every day. You have to gauge it, guys. Right, and, and with the tank like this, guys, you also have to keep the things that we're talking about, the basic things in your mind as well, where you look and you learn and you, you see what the shrimp are actually doing. How active are they? Are they actually running to the food? If not, right, you're feeding your tank too much. Guys, I just have to be mother effing blunt with you from now on. You, you're killing them. You mother <laughs> you're killing them. <laughs> right? So stop putting so much stuff into the tank. Get that into your little brains. I'm going to grab you by the neck. Get that into your little brains. Stop feeding your shrimp so much. Love you, bye.